Hi guys, I'm here with another very interesting weather station. There are also many basic weather stations around, so I'm focusing on very interesting weather stations. So what's the big deal here is we get this weather station including three sensors, so you can place them anywhere in your home or outside. And then the display of this weather station shows all the four different temperature and humidity at the same time so from the three sensors plus the one from the station itself it comes also with dual alarm it will also set the time and date automatically based on the atomic clock so i'm going to show you what's in the box how to set it up and all the information which you can see on this weather station there's also some more description on the packaging also the model type here some specs and features, but let's open the box, see what we get. Everything comes nicely packaged. So here we are with the power supply, first sensor, second sensor, and third sensor. And then of course the main unit nicely protected. So this is what we get. We get the central unit, we get the three sensors, we get the power supply, we get the instructions manual. There's quite some description about everything because we have really a lot of functions and so more information here, but that's it. But not included are the batteries, so we need eight times double A batteries. You can see that here in all the sensors, by the way, the cover is very easy to remove. Absolutely no problem and also in the back of the main unit we want to add two of these batteries so then they are working as a backup in case of a power outage or of course they can work also without the power supply but without the power supply we don't have permanent illumination we also have this stand here in the back very convenient but of course here i want to go with the illumination so we plug it in you can see a really nice, beautiful display, but of course we do not have any information here from the sensors because we need to add the batteries first. So we have two of them here. What's really important is that we select the right channel. So we have three things here. We have the switch between Celsius and Fahrenheit. We just push here, you can see. Then we have also this manual data push here. And the main thing here is the channel. So we have it on the one. We do same thing for the second sensor. But here we switch the selector on channel two in the middle. And same thing for the third sensor. And here of course we are choosing channel number three. And now you can see right after adding the batteries we have the full information. We have temperature and humidity from this station because it has also sensors built in, of course. And then we have the data here from sensor 1 and the data from sensor 2 and the data from sensor 3. And so we are fully prepared so we can close the battery compartments. The sensors have a maximum wireless range of up to 60 meters. And I haven't found any information if they are waterproof or not, but I guess they are not because all the sensors which I have seen these days, which have not only the temperature, but also the humidity, they are not really fully waterproof. So make sure when you're putting one outside that you put it still in an area where it can't get hit by direct rain. I have placed now one sensor in the kitchen, one in the front outside and one in the back outside, but there's almost nothing to see. Why is that? Of course, because I have unplugged the power. You can still see it a little bit, but of course not very good. If you want to run it on the battery and you want to see more, you can just push here on top. You can see now nicely everything, but of course for the best comfort and visibility, we are using the DC power. And so we have a lot of information here. Of course, usually we start with the setup. We press long here on the set button and then we can set pretty much everything. We can say if you want to use the atomic clock synchronization and everything we can adjust with the plus and the minus here on the right side. That's really nice. It's very convenient to have all the buttons here on top nicely described what it is and also plus and minus on the right side. So we usually don't have to check here a lot. So we can either use or not use the atomic clock. 
I'm going with it, but it takes some time. Usually it's just synchronizing during the night, so we give it some time. I'm not going to show you every setting, just a couple of very important ones. Most of them are self-explaining. What's important here is when you want to use the atomic clock that you select the right time zone. So here we are on Eastern time and then we select daylight saving time on or off and then the time and day and date. If the time is not adjusted right away, which usually doesn't happen during the day, you can still try to manually receive the atomic signal. You can long press here. The display will then turn off for a while, but you can see the antenna here flashing. So just give it some time. I think the maximum is seven minutes while it's trying to receive the signal. After that, it will come back to normal mode. But you can stop that at any time. So I'm doing that here because it's useless to try that during the day. And what's really important here is to set the right weather. Of course, this will be adjusted based on the air pressure, but it's highly recommended to adjust it initially. So for example, if it's sunny outside, you would have to change it to sunny, maybe light cloudy. Or if it's raining like now, then we leave it like that. This is then a good base adjustment. So the station has then a good initial value and can adjust it based on the air pressure change. Here on the left side, we can adjust the different brightness. Then with this button, we can see the different alarm times. With the memory button, we can see the maximum and minimum temperature for each sensor. You can see minimum, maximum temperature and humidity. By the way, all the data will be reset at midnight automatically. Then we have the channel switch. When we push here, you can see it selects the first channel. If you want to reset it, if there is some problem or so, we can long press, you can see, then it doesn't show anything and it's waiting for the data to be transmitted. Usually it just takes a couple of seconds and then we'll have the data back. So now we have the data back and the refreshed. And there's a lot of information which we can see. We can see the signal strengths, we can see the current temperature, humidity, and also comfort level for each sensor area. And with this button, we can activate or deactivate the different alarms. Alarm one, alarm two, or both, or both off. And here on the right side, we can switch between Celsius and Fahrenheit for all the areas. So I would say it's pretty easy to use and we have really a lot of possibilities, a lot of information. I love this to have a really great overview of what's going on inside of the home and also outside. You can see the different temperatures which we have. Here in this room, it's much warmer than in the kitchen. And you can see the two outside areas are pretty much the same because it's raining. When we have a lot of sun, then the sensor here in the patio would show much higher temperatures. But now they are pretty much in sync. But there's still a little bit of a difference because of the roof which we have and humidity is of course the same outside. So for me, everything looking really good. What's maybe important to know, of course, is the visibility. We do not have the same visibility from all the sides. So you'd have to choose a good location where you have decent visibility from the side can see it from everywhere, from the front as well. If you have it like that on a desk, also perfect, but maybe not perfect when you want to mount it really high on a wall or so, because the visibility from below is a little bit limited. So the best thing I would say is when you have it on a desk like that, that's absolutely perfect, really great colors, good display i love this and especially the three additional sensors so it could be a great thing for you or an amazing gift for christmas and so if you're interested i'll put down the link to the amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order it right from there if you like it and i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time